Did I hear a squeak? Hello guys, this is Mike and welcome to Passive Endpoint 20C. So yes, almost three patches in one week, that's weird. And thanks to Ice for buffing all the heroes and making them fucking OP, he started to nerf some of them and buffing the other some that he just destroyed. So before we start, remember guys to subscribe, like the video and comment with hashtag free coaching because every week there's gonna be a free one hour coaching for one of my subscribers and the winner name will be announced in the discord because I need to show you guys how much I appreciate your support and how much you mean to me. With that being said, let's get started. Wraith Band attacks me got nerfed and they are trying to stop people from buying two Wraith Band because it's extremely good in this meta, but the nerf won't affect anything. Bracer and Old Talisman recipe only cost 10 more, Sanj, Yasha and Kaya cost reduced so it's really better value for these items. Bloodstone is fucking OP now since you start with 14 charge and they increase the region pure charge. So good luck seeing Storm running out of mana or killing Timbersaw because he will use this item. Bounty Hunter got nerfed a bit but that won't change the fact that he can sell your wallet. Brewmaster's second skill got reworked, whenever you use it on the enemy they will get a mischance and an ignite. Which means if you use any spell on them, they will receive a damage over time. And also they nerfed his W because whenever you buy Agnem Scepter, it will last forever on the enemy. So they nerfed it and also they nerfed his talent tree. Sinta's stampede slow duration got increased which means he's gonna be a proper offlane at least now. CK strike lifesteal got increased so now this is becoming kind of cancer. Clinks. I really don't want to talk about it. But Icefog looks like wanna buff him over the next 10 patches to make him playable again. Dazzle Wave cooldown got increased but still fucking OP because of his bad Mojo Jojo. This profit movement speed talent tree got buffed and even without this buff she's back in this meta. Doom Vower HP region got reduced and it still feels like you have a vanguard so thank you Ice Rock. Ember Spirit's side of face, bonus damage got buffed and also buffing his talent too, which means that you are not trash anymore against magical heroes like uh, Queen of Pain and Puck. Enchanter's armor increased by 2 which is gonna help her in the laning phase but you know still better heroes that you can play in the offlane better than just Enchantress. Faces Void time lock damage got reduced but still unbalanced in this meta. Gyrocaptor solid did hero, Conca Cleave damage increased, it's now cancer in the lane. Lordur got nerfed because he was a true cancer, his base armor and agility got reduced and his spirit link cooldown got reskilled which is not bad honestly but what hurts this hero is the fact that they changed his level 20 talent tree which is making him useless now. So I guess Bulldog can't play rank anymore. Luna got nerfed in terms of agility gain, night vision and also her talent tree but these changes won't change the fact that she's really good in this meta. Liking how attack speed got reduced a bit. Meepu got nerfed again and don't bitch about it, it's even now he's Imba, like he's better than any fucking hero. Nisha Prophet armor and agility got buffed which will help him in the laning phase. Naga level 15 talent got reduced but the change in pass 7.20 made her so good. OD now is smarter and his base armor increased and that will help him in the laning phase but what makes him better now that his third ability can slow you even more and you can farm ancient with your arcane orb but they need to buff him like buffing his mana still because that shit is really fucking stupid. PA talent tree got nerfed and blur now costs more mana but she's still really good in this meta. Puck is smarter now. Sanking got nerfed a bit but he's still highly recommended in the offlane to spread the cancer even faster. Spirit hunt damage increased but that won't change the fact that he's not that good in this meta. Spirit breaker bash RNG got reduced. Sun spirit is smart and his static remnant is really high now and that means he can pick off enemies so easily. Slaughter talent tree got changed which is kinda okay now. Slark Pond's duration got nerfed which is convenient and his dark pack costs more mana now but it's fine since you can buy clarities and spam your Q at least. His shadow dance duration got nerfed a bit but what still make him so fucking good in this meta that you can still agility within 300 units from you if the enemy died next to you or your allies killed your, the enemy. So this is more like a silencer now?
Timber saw strength gain and rolling death. Uh, three bonus damage got increased, which is meh. Tusk mob boy strength got buffed. And I and got nerfed, but he's still a fucking annoying zombie. Ursa is trash now, so don't pick him, please. Venom is being more cancer with this buff. Visage got nerfed, but that won't change the fact that he can still take your fucking towers in fucking 20 minutes and just throw to your ancient. That's everything for the day. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. And join our Baboons Discord for more weaves and hentai. This is Max. Peace.